Chapter 6 No, Niles said. It was the same answer he'd given in the hallway. And then, after school, in the prank lab. Now, he was giving it again. While he and Miles walked along Jefferson Street in downtown Yawnee Valley. They passed a brick bank, a feed shop, a seed shop, and an ice cream parlor. No, Niles said yet again, because think about it. Niles had been thinking about it. Pranks were invented to unstuff stuffed shirts to pop over inflated balloons to embarrass the dower. And what's Principal Barkin if not a dower balloon in a stuffed shirt? Yeah, Miles said. A purple balloon? Exactly. Look, we witnessed something weird in there today. But what if Robin Hood had accidentally seen the Sheriff of Nottingham crying during Green's, green sleeves? Does that mean the Sheriff gets to overtax the poor? Should the merry men disband and go work for the crown? Miles and Niles had paused in front of the ice cream parlor and they stopped talking for a second so they could inhale the smell of waffle cones. Anyway, said Niles, we can go to the school board meeting and testify on Principal Barkin's behalf. We'll make sure nothing happens to him. Everything will be fine. Now, let's get to this week's etude. For the past few months, Miles and Niles had engaged in a series of exercises designed to develop their pranking muscles. The etudes, or as Miles liked to call them, the hey dudes. Lately, they'd been exchanging a set of objects. They each had 24 hours to design a prank using only those materials. Last week, Miles had given Niles a soccer ball, a bike, bicycle pump, and a tube of industrial strength super glue. Too easy. This week, Niles had something really special. Here you go. He held out a big spool of thread. Miles stared at the thread. Thread? That's all? That wasn't all. This wasn't just thread. Niles had found this spool in his mom's sewing kit, and he couldn't wait to tell Miles what it did. This isn't just, I've got an idea, Miles said. Wait, said Niles, you don't know. But Niles was already approaching a man wearing denim shorts and a shirt that said, The Edge, World's Hardest Triathlon. Excuse me, sir, Miles said. My friend and I are doing... A math project, 
where we have to measure various streets in Yanni Valley. Would you be able to help us? The man looked skeptical. He opened his mouth, but Miles kept talking. It only takes a minute. All you have to do is stand here and hold this end of our thread. Miles put on a vulnerable expression. It's really important for our grade. He thrust the thread toward the man. Sure, I guess, the man said. Thank you, thank you, Miles said. Holding the spool in his hand, he backed away. We won't be long, sir. Just stay there and don't move. We need an exact measurement. He and Miles, Niles disappeared around the corner and took off down the street. The spool unwinding in Miles's hand. They slipped behind a coffee shop, turned down an alley, and nearly made it to a fire escape before the thread ran out. Need something to tie it to, said Miles, holding the thread taut. The fire escape. Wait, said Niles. Wait, I have a plan. A man in a gray suit came around the corner, talking on his phone. Ha ha, Niles said. He actually said, ha ha. Niles waved and put on a cornball grin as the man approached. Sorry to interrupt your call, sir. The man looked irritated. Hold on, he said into his phone, which he kept near his ear. My friend and I are doing a math project where we have to measure various streets in Yanni Valley, said Niles. Would you be able to hold on to the end of this thread for, thread for a moment? You'd be able to continue your phone conversation and help two students with their math grade at the same time. The man seemed perplexed, but Niles was already handing over the thread. Please just hold it tight and stand right here, he said. We won't be a moment. As Miles and Niles walked out of the alley, Niles answered out, called out a series of numbers. 50.3, he said, and Miles nodded seriously. 60.85, they made it to the corner. Thank you, sir, Niles shouted. We'll be right back. As soon as they were out of sight, they sprinted back to Niles' house. Incredible, said Niles, in the safety of the prank lab. Amazing, said Miles. Their faces were flushed with the joy of a prank well done. Their bellies full of tangerines. The terrible, too, like to celebrate with feasts. But Miles, said Niles, I didn't even get to tell you what the thread does. Miles shrugged. It's thread, right? Niles smiled. Nope. Hold on. Niles left the prank lab and returned with another spool. <laughs>